Have you ever wondered how you can actually elevate your code, your software, your business, your model by implementing different AI tools to grow and scale it? Well, I got you covered as I would like to share and introduce something in today's video called Solid GPT, a model where it focuses on technological business boosting frameworks. You are able to chat with everything in your code repository, ask repository level code questions, and discuss your requirements. Solid GPT scans and learns from your code so that it can basically seek coding advice deploy code and generate product requirement documents using the information in the repo. In a way, it's a smart GPT model that helps empower AI to work with humans using tools to accomplish business tasks as well as code related tasks. Now, this is something that I would like to take a look at as it can help you create software, complete code and so much more. Just take a look at this example where the devs deployed Solid GPT locally to ensure data privacy as well as building a commercially used terms of service system with Solid GPT. Now this took them less than three minutes. It first starts off by basically creating the commercial use terms of services. This is by giving it the memo and you're able to do this on the left side of Solid GPT. You can see I want to create a terms of service pop-up view for solid gpt's portal when users visit solid gpt they need to accept the terms of services and view should be and the view should be the full screen size to cover solid gpt blah 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 and we can see that you upload your code repo and input the requirements that you want which you can do as well as inputting your open ai api key once this is done solid gpt then formulates the code that is needed to do this and then it also provides you a private solution based on your solid or on your code repo now you simply just follow the solid gpt code plan on off of vs code and you're able to host it off of your server and you can see over here it creates this terms of service now this is just one little example of what you can do with solid gpt there's so much more and it's quite intricate so it'll be really nice to see what you can actually create with this if you are able to do something really really cool and unique definitely give me uh or like tag me in a post on twitter or on the comments and i can definitely check it out and give you guys a spotlight on it but this is basically a great step forward in the world of ai as this will definitely elevate your business your code your software and so much more now throughout today's video we'll be exploring solid gpt further by showcasing how you can actually install it what it's actually about showcasing its capabilities so that you can basically implement it within your own workflow so definitely stay tuned and let's get straight into the video if you would like to access our private discord in which you can access subscriptions to ai tools for free giveaways you have networking opportunities private ai content and so much more definitely take a look at the patreon page in the link in the description below now if you guys haven't followed world of ai i highly recommend that you do so on twitter so you can stay up to date with the latest ai news over here and lastly make sure you guys subscribe turn notification bell like this video and check out our previous videos because there is actually a lot of free content over here that they will definitely benefit you and elevate whatever you're trying to accomplish on a day-to-day -day basis with ai so with that thought guys let's get straight back into the video hey what is up guys welcome back to another youtube video at the world of ai in today's video we're going to take a look at solid gpt now solid gpt is a human ai collaboration framework which is quite intricate now this is going to be very useful for a lot of ranges of users as you're able to add private data and create your own agent work graph. Now, this is by using embedding, fine tuning, and in context learning, which simply is with their actual Solid GPT framework. Now, the goal is with Solid GPT is that it empowers you to utilize AI so that it can work with a range of different categories, with the ranges of different people while using tools to accomplish business tasks, code completion tasks, deploying softwares, and so much more. Currently, the framework is optimized for software deployment using tools like Notion and LoDefi. Now, from the inception of an idea to the documentation of software deployment, task division, and eventually task implementation, 
Everything can either be automatically or semi-automatically accomplished with solid, with solid GPT, sorry, which is really, really cool as this is something that is fairly new and it's going to be continuously built upon as time goes on. They have a quite solid dev team, so definitely stay tuned with this project. But let's get to the next step of the video where I showcase how you can actually install it and then we can go further with the video by talking a little bit more about the features as well as the capabilities of solid gpt so guys there's actually a couple ways to access this you can obviously just play around with it off the demo which is the solid gpt portal which we'll take a look at later on in the video but in this case we're going to showcase how you can install it locally so you're going to need to fulfill a couple of prerequisites firstly you'll need git which is an application that will help you clone this repository onto your desktop secondly you will need python as your code editor You'll need Visual Studio Code to play around with their terminal. And lastly, you'll need a functional API key linked to a billing. Now, once you have these four things fulfilled, we can move on to the setup. Now, obviously, you'll need to have, in have NPM installed. This is a prerequisite many of us already have. But if you don't, you can simply just click on this and it'll tell you how to install that command. It's very fairly easy. Now, what you want to do is I'm going to leave all the links in the description below so that you can access it fairly easily. But what you want to do is click on the solid GPT link, which will be in the description below. Once you have once you are actually on the repository, click on this green button over here on the top right. Copy this link for the repository, scroll back down. And what you want to do is go on to command prompt, type in git clone and paste the link and click enter. This will start cloning this repository onto your desktop or wherever you have it cloned towards. So once this file has finished cloning, I'll be right back. So now that this is finished, what we can do now is go into the actual solid GPT folder. You can easily just copy this command so it's easier. Go copy and paste it into the command prompt. Click enter. Once you're inside this folder, you want to now install the actual requirements. This is by copying this command and going back over here, pasting it, clicking enter. This will start installing all the requirements to unpack solid GPT. And this will take a couple of minutes. So once this is done, I'll be right back. So now that we have finished installing the requirements, it's fairly easy to start this up guys. What you will need to do is basically first set the project root folder as a Python path. So if you have a Linux and Mac, you can copy this command and paste it into your command prompt. But if you have a Windows, you can set this command into your command prompt. So once this is done, you can move forward and start the server up. You basically have to follow through with these commands. You need to install WSL2 and start the server from WSL2. First you install it, paste this command in so you're in the folder, and then you start the server up. It's fairly easy, or you're able to install directly on Windows, which is not recommended, and it shows you a way as to how you can do this. You're also able to do this with Docker, and you're able to start the UI portal with the following commands, and it's fairly easy you can have it hosted onto your local host just like this. And it's something that could, that you could access fairly easy. So if you're interested in this, definitely follow through with this method and we can then now move forward with the next step of the video where we showcase how you can play around with this. Now, before we actually start playing around with this, I wanna mention a couple of things such as the features and the capabilities. We can see that one of its main features is to boost software product. And this is where there's three key agents, yeah, the PM agent, PE agent, and the SDE agent. All three are to basically structure different uh, boosting methods for different frameworks. Now, in this case, my bad, sorry about that, but it processes can, processes can be either fully or semi-automated, which is something we mentioned. Uh, the PE, PM agent refines ideas into structured PRD documents. The PE agent creates high-level designs, splits them into different tasks, and the SD agent trains the agent to harness the open source project. So we can see over here, you have these three different agents utilizing Notion, and then is given uh, help with the input that is split into different types of tasks. In this case, it then outputs it afterwards. You also have a deep customized agent skill, which you can also configure with these custom agent skills. You're able to implement your own agent skills with the following documentation that's provided on the GitHub. Now, there's another way, another solid uh, 
feature, which is the solid graph. You're able to customize the workflow with a flow-wise type of GUI. You're able to visualize and build this graph with this UI, which is really, really unique. You also have a human AI deep collaboration where you collaborate with the AI using Notion as well as the other tools associated with this project to basically give you the best assisted uh, AI assistant for your different ranges of tasks. Now let's actually start playing around with this. It's fairly easy. You can see this UI is super easy, but first things first, you'll need to input an API key. You can create one with OpenAI if it's linked to a billing account so that you can access it fully. So once you have it pasted into Solid GPT, you can then move forward with this next step where we showcase the demo. Now you can see that there's a couple uh, tabs over here. You have the onboard project, which is the pre-step. You have the generate product requirement document as well as get technical solution. So let's take a look at what are these three different ranges of categories. With the onboarding your project, you choose the onboard project from the top left uh, dropdown, enter your API key, upload the project file, and then after completing the onboarding, an onboard ID will be generated. If you remain in the same browser session, it will automatically be applied to subsequent actions. Alternatively, Basically, what this means is that you're onboarding Solid GPT with the details that is needed for it to actually accomplish or help you out with the task. Secondly, you work on the get technical solution. And this is basically by inputting your problem and your requirement. Lastly, you generate the product requirement document. And this is basically a short and clear solution as to what uh, Solid GPT was able to accomplish with your input. Now let's actually put this all together. In this case, I don't have a repository, but I'm gonna start off by onboarding this uh, Solid GPT project. So I'm gonna basically onboard it to focus on something. I want to create a snakes and ladder game on my website so people can enjoy their time having fun while playing the game i'm gonna click done and now i'm gonna choose a repository for this so in this case i'm gonna choose something that has some sort of code that can help generate a snakes and ladder game so now that i have uploaded the repository i can basically click start so this is going to upload the repository of the snakes and ladder code and it's going to start configuring it so it'll take a couple minutes once it has uploaded the repository i'll be right back so now you go to the generate product uh, requirements document you input your api key please input your requirements so in this case create me a snakes and ladder game with the repo i have uploaded add uh make it so that i can add it to a website so once this is done in this case our product info could be snakes and ladder game that has two players and then you can basically click start and this will now start generating the product requirements this is going to be a document that will be basically finish and execute this task so it's going to take a couple minutes but once it's done i'll be right back so it looks like it has generated the prd which is the product requirement document as well as the analyzing requirements so in this case it has done quite good job as to how it formulated this analysis as well as how it will basically generate this game so now you can basically go to the next step which will get technical solution so in this case it will then start creating the code that is needed as well as inputting my requirements where i need to have it uploaded to a website so it will then formulate the code for that so that i can easily copy and paste it with visual studio code host it with my own server and then have it uploaded off of a local host which is very very unique and it's a great way for you to deploy like different ranges of softwares 
to different products. This is really helpful for a lot of people who do not have the right coding knowledge or are basically short on time with coding because this saves so much more time as you just have solid GPT focus on what you're trying to accomplish. Now, the great part is, is that this is mostly for implementing like different ranges of business solutions to different ranges of software deployment this doesn't really affect or like not affect but like it has a low grasp on helping you with like gaming for example but in this case it does a good job in creating the code for it uh it gives you the technical support this is just the first step which uh, helps you integrate what software or not software but what will be needed to create this you can follow through with the uh, steps but in this case i'm not going to go through it as it's going to be very very long it's just a small little demo as to showcase what you can do with this but guys that basically concludes my video on solid gpt this is a really amazing framework that will be really useful for a lot of people as you can collaborate with ai to accomplish many ranges of uh, AI tasks but that basically concludes today's video thank you guys so much for watching definitely check out the patreon page if you want to access our private discord definitely take a look at our twitter page follow through so you, that you can access the latest AI news and lastly make sure you guys subscribe turn notification bell like this video and check out our previous videos because there's a lot of content that you will definitely benefit from but with that thought guys thank you guys so much for watching have an amazing day and I'll see you guys fairly shortly peace out fellas